Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of Amit News. We hope you all had a meaningful Yom Kippur and are looking forward to getting up to speed with what's happening at Amit in Israel. My name is Daniel Brill. Welcome to the show. This week, the nation, as well as Jews worldwide, marked the 7th of October, a year since the vicious Hamas terror attack and despite still being amidst the war on multiple fronts, schools across the country had special programming to remember those fallen, those still held hostage, to give strength to our soldiers fighting the battles of our generation. Whether through prayer, song, moving speeches and motivational experiences, whether student or teacher, each person draws strength and gives inspiration to others. We say a big thank you to all those involved in keeping the memories alive and continuing to provide hope for the future. The kindness continues in Netanya. Student Ori Elazar Atias from Kirat Shmona was evacuated from his home at the beginning of the war. His classmate at the Amit Barilan High School for Boys in Netanya, where he's currently studying, surprised him with an elaborate birthday celebration. Already, last year, Atias planned a birthday celebration together with his friends in Kirat Shmona. However, then came the war that nixed those plans. After many months in hotels and other places, Ori started the school year at Amit Barilan. He tells us, when I arrived, I was immediately greeted with warmth and love. My birthday was approaching and I really wanted to celebrate with my friends, but the situation doesn't allow it. All my friends are scattered throughout the country. A birthday in the first month of a school in a new framework is disappointing, because I didn't know who would even celebrate with me, and who even knew that it was my birthday. When the 7th grade friends found out, together with educator Rabbi Moti Ifergan, they decided to surprise him and organize a birthday celebration for him in the classroom. It moved me a lot, shares Atias. Certainly, in these difficult days, when we have no idea when we will return to our home, to our friends, to the school, and to the neighborhood where I grew up, I was blessed with a school and an educator who took care of me, and I'm thankful for that. May we know better and safer days, and most importantly, we will return to our home as soon as possible. Rabbi Oriya Hebroni, principal of the Amit Barilan School, said, Tedmor Pesetzno says that the greatest thing in the world is to do good to someone else. Indeed, as soon as we heard that Ori could not celebrate with his friends from Kirat Shmona, his classmates decided to create a production and hold a big celebration. It was an event invested with and wrapped in love. Huge mazal tov to Ori and a big yeshakoach to his classmates and teachers for continuing to do good in the world. Finally, ahead of the Tishrei holiday period, students of the Ulpunat Amit Givat Shmuel collaborated with the NGO Kruvit as part of the project where they baked over 600 cakes which were distributed to the elderly, the needy and Holocaust survivors with the aim of making the holidays happier for them. The activity in the middle school took place as part of the Journey to the Soul program, which focused on the three core principles of the holiday period. Teshuvah, where the girls heard heartwarming talks from Rabbi Gilad Lewis, Rabbi Sharvit, and Didan Cohen. Prayer, the girls participated in the show Sharot Selichot with Elisha Birnbaum. And Charity, baking the hundreds of cakes that were sent to the distribution center in Cholon. And from there, they were transferred to food baskets for families of the needy, the elderly, and Holocaust survivors across the country. A student, Ori Zakharia, shared, making the cakes was simply a mitzvah. There's nothing happier than making people feel good with something sweet for the holiday. Avital Birnbaum, coordinator of social education, said, As the coordinator of a social value field, it is important to me that the girls enter these special days after significant and experiential preparation, both on the personal level and on the national, out of kindness, action, and a rise in spiritual stature. Thank you for tuning in. As we approach Sukkot, we want to wish you all a Chag Sameach, and remember to follow us on all of our social media, including Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We look forward to bringing you more updates next time. 